Hey Scorpios, I'm back y'all with another video. So let's get into it. Give me a message for Scorpios, please. Give me a message for Scorpios. of the deck we got reconciliation all right so you or someone that you could have possibly been dealing with previously may want to reconcile somebody who you've been possibly um disconnected from you haven't possibly been around each other or you guys been um i feel like you guys might have took a break or you're like not around each other as much but you still feel like this person could be the one like you want to marry this person this person may want to marry you like y'all both on the same page when it comes to that but i'm getting that maybe the situation was too codependent somebody was too codependent on somebody somebody here also had control issues and somebody needs to express that okay so, it looks like somebody got a little bit of issues here, all right, that need to be looked at and resolved. All right, so, let's see what other messages we get, okay? I feel like this could be your person, like your person could be too controlling, they are real super duper clingy or codependent for some not all someone may have like a, an addiction maybe you try to get this person to open up and talk about it tell me more about what is this person's intentions towards scorpio what is this person's intentions towards scorpio what is their intentions towards scorpio the butterfly Okay, so they're trying to get you to take things to the next phase. So this is why they're possibly coming off as controlling. You might be looking at it like, why y'all doing so much? And it's because this person is one of the things, this relationship and connection to evolve and go to the next level, go to the next phase. And they may feel like, you know, you're possibly like taking your slow time. This person really likes you. We got, I like you. Someone likes you. Romance is blooming. Fun, flirting, want to date. Okay, so this person really, really admires you. Ascending and the golden mirror. Now, ascending, we have learning, expansion, new phase, preparing for union. Like I said, somebody wants to take things to the next level. So somebody, somebody that you're dealing with, like they just want things to go to the next level. Maybe they feel like you and them have been on the same level for quite some time and they feel like you know it's time to take things up a notch for some of you it's maybe y'all was just you know creeping now y'all are official for some it's like you've been official for a while now you want to get engaged for some of you you've been engaged for a while and now you want to get married all right so we got the golden mirror you i feel like this person feels like they may be trying to hold a mirror up to you they may feel like you're a little self-absorbed or the relationship is one-sided. Okay, so this is something that they may want to express to you. Like, they want to express that. And these are things that they're trying to sabotage and get rid of and want to work on. Because we got a hammer here. And this is talking about sabotaging, rebuilding. They may be interrogating you um, and real persistent about working on things with you. All right, so let's jump into the tarot because this person seems like they pretty, pretty serious. <laughs> this person is pretty serious. They take a thing serious. Okay, so. more shuffles all right so at the bottom of the deck guys we got the moon all right so some of you could be dealing with a 
Pisces or a Scorpio or a Cancer. But the moon energy gives me Cancer or Pisces is energy. All right. This could be that someone is hiding something. Now, we got the moon and the seven of swords. So, someone is overthinking with the nine of swords that someone is sneaking around, lying, and being a cheat. <laughs> All right. So, this person feels like you're sneaking around, and that's how I feel. Like, this person is trying to keep tabs on you. This person, and it's coming off as controlling. Okay, it's coming off to you as like this person is controlling. We got the Knight of Pentacles, the High Priestess, and the Justice card, the Lovers, Judgment, and the Six of Wands, Four of Wands, Ten of Swords, Page of Cups, and the Eight of Wands. See, yeah, I'm definitely getting with the Justice and the Four of Wands. I'm getting like there's supposed to be like some type of next level of commitment, possibly moving in with each other, getting engaged, getting married. Definitely seeing things supposed to be taken to the next level. Now, why is justice here? Some of you could be dealing with the Libra for pentacles. Okay. So this person is trying to keep things in order. They're trying to keep confusion down. This is how they're viewing it. Like, they're trying to keep confusion down. Um, Knight of Pentacles could be um, Capricorn, but they could be feeling like you're just dragging your feet. Okay? They feel like you're dragging your feet. They're trying to get an understanding of why you're dragging your feet. Why is the high priestess here? they saying, look. It could be a Virgo towards Capricorn, but somebody feels like, why are you moving so slow? Because the Knight of Pentacles is the slowest moving energy in the deck, okay? So this Knight takes his time. He's analyzing everything. He's looking over everything. Before he makes his move, he's trying to make sure that he's making the best move possible for him. This person that you're dealing with feels like you're slowing things down. And they could be feeling like maybe you feel like you're going to regret it. I see them spying on you too. Like they're, they're watching you. They're spying on you. Yeah, they're spying to see if you're lying. Spying to see if you're cheating. Being sneaky. Could be a Gemini. But maybe someone here is younger. Maybe this person is younger than you, Scorpio. Tell me why the Knight of Swords is here. The Ten of Pentacles, yeah. So maybe you guys have been um, around each other, in each other's energy for a long time. Like maybe it's somebody you know from your childhood. Somebody feels like somebody, somebody feels like they feel like you're moving too slow and maybe you, Scorpio, could feel like they're moving too fast. Now, with the judgment here, there was a final decision to walk away. So, somebody walked away. Somebody did not accept. It looks like somebody didn't accept the offer. An offer was on the table. Somebody turned their back on the offer. Somebody said it was too risky. There could be a baby mother involved or a mother um, that they, um, I'm getting a female energy. I'm getting somebody waited to find out. There's a possible pregnancy here. Now, moving ahead, we got the Six of Wands. Okay, so some victory and success, but then we got the Three of Swords. Why are the Three of Swords here? There's a separation. It's like somebody getting a whole bunch of attention, more attention when there's, when there's a separation. The Sun, Leo's energy, and the Magician.
Yeah, I'm getting... This person is overthinking, like, so much. This is their energy. Like, this person overthinks so much. I'm getting, like, wish that they would have been more patient and waited something out before they uh, went along with something. Maybe, you know, uh, told friends about something. I'm getting that there's supposed to be a marriage with this Hierophant. And they feel like they made a bad choice. Like, you, this person is over here second-guessing themselves. Um, why is the Four of Wands here? Ten of Wands, yeah. Ten of Wands and the Four of Wands. They feel overburdened. They feel burdened with a lot of responsibility. They feel like they are taking up all the responsibility. I'm seeing you looking at the situation as an ending. Why is the Ten of Swords here? The Devil. Okay. And the hermit. Ooh, okay. Why is the hermit here? I'm getting like there could definitely be some type of a Capricorn could be involved. Tell me more about the devil. Yeah, you don't you don't want to make a bad choice. You don't want to make the wrong choice. So you you you're isolating yourself. You isolated yourself because you don't want to make the wrong choice. This person feels like they're bounded with all of the responsibility um and they feel like you're slowing things down with them um now in their hopes and fears we got that page of cups queen of pentacles this person is hoping that you'll come along like come along and be more open, open up to them. Now the outcome is the outcome is the eight of wands and the king of wands and the six of cups. They may be having somebody's talking to an ex. It looks like they could be in communication with an ex. An ex could be trying to come back in the picture for them, um, because somebody look somebody saying, "Oh, I thought you were single." Eight of swords. Queen of Wands, Nine of Pentacles. So they may have an ex coming back around and coming back into the picture trying to get their attention. Because somebody over here, something looks suspicious. Queen of Cups and the Nine of Swords. Like, something looks suspicious. Somebody is, is uh, overthinking, maybe looks sad or is posting sad things. Somebody's looking like they don't know exactly what they want. So... I feel like for some of them, they're communicating, going back and communicating back and forth with an ex. Tell me more about the Six of Wands. Could be a fire sign, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. Yeah, we got that Two of Cups and the Ace of Cups. So, yeah, somebody looks like they're trying to rekindle. So, if you want your Scorpio... You might want to give your Scorpio some attention. I'm sorry, Scorpio. If you want your other part, if you want your person, you might want to give your person some attention because I feel like they're feeling like you're slowing down, like you're losing interest, like your momentum isn't there, like you don't really, really, really want it as much as they do. So they have someone coming in. Okay. For some of them, it's an ex. For some of them, it's someone new all right so that's the message that i got for you guys let me know what's going on in the comment section below and i'm gonna chat with y'all later ciao for now